Hi everyone and welcome to the Spring 2024 Business 120 Intro to Management web course. My name is Tom Passero and I'm honored to be your instructor throughout the semester. Obviously, if you are watching this, you have read the announcement, which I have on the board, and you have punched on the Start Here folder and the introduction video. So again, welcome. <clears throat> the purpose of this video is to say hi, talk a little bit about me, and more about the course. Navigate through some of the things that Blackbird has to offer as well as connect. And to touch on a few other features that uh, you'll have experience in uh, throughout the semester. So let's get to it. First of all, what you see on your screen again is the announcement and a little bit about me. I've been around quite a while at Owens, over 20 years. Prior to that, I spent 20 years in the rural world in manufacturing, operations, supply chain, production inventory control, marketing, all kind of different things, as well as accounting and consulting. So hopefully I'm going to bring you a lot of real world experiences and some of the things that I do, plus hopefully a little bit of an element of serious fun. And you'll see that in some of the discussion boards and the other assignments. For those of you that are not enrolled in the 225, but rather the 226 or the 227, you'll see some things that are more related to the 225. I'm teaching three semester, three sections, and they're all identical except for the students. Now, as you go scroll down here, you'll see that you have a textbook and that is totally online unless you choose to get some sort of printed copy, but it is in your fees. So you don't have to worry about buying anything in this particular class. And it's important, obviously, that you register, which there are instructions on how to do so. And we'll talk a little bit about that later on so that you can get into the learning management system called Connect from McGraw-Hill. <clears throat> now, this course is all web and it requires you to be somewhat disciplined. We'll go through the course schedule here shortly, but a lot of it is time phase in the sense that you have certain things to accomplish in a uh, assignment set window. Other things you can do at your leisure. Like I said, we'll talk about that shortly. But you've already got into the video as you're listening to me. And the other thing that you should be doing, we're going to go through that shortly, is to click on the syllabus. And I have a course link down here that you can do that if you already haven't. So that you can follow along. Okay. All right. Well, let's get into it. And we'll bring the syllabus over here. So <clears throat> like any other syllabus, there's information about me, office hours, as well as virtual office hours. Uh, there's a course description. You can read it on your own. And like I said, here's the materials, but you already have them in this particular course. Information on student outcomes, program outcomes. You can look at that your own. And other things that hopefully you'll get out of this course. I give you a grade. And the grade is based on several things, which, like I said, we'll go through here. Tests, videos that are both in Connect, McGraw-Hill, but also things, things that are exclusive to Blackboard, like the discussion boards and a couple assignments that are at the end of the semester, a film activity, which you'll watch the smartest guys in the room and address some questions, as well as a what if exercise. That's kind of fun, but also incorporates some of the stuff that we that you've uh, will experience in the course. There's some other things about Blackboard that uh, you may want to read on. It's kind of a little quirk in the system where you may think you're doing better than you are 
Uh, it just has to do with the way Blackboard uh, <clears throat> calculates uh, percentages of what's complete, not necessarily what you need to do. So it's always a good idea to document your points and put them in your little scorecard to see how you're doing. And there's some other information on how to access Blackboard. You should already know that because you're here. So you can look at this at your convenience. And there's an in, there's things about Connect, which we'll get into in a second, on how to uh, register. Can't do it right now because I'm recording this before class, but uh, there's plenty of instructions on how to do that, and there's even a video. Okay, like I said, I'm just going to run through this quickly and then get into more of the details. There are several things that ways to score points. One is a discussion board, and I'll show you an example here in a minute. It's where I post something, and then you respond to my posting, as well as two of your peers. And there's plenty of people in these classes. They're all full. So there's plenty of people from which to choose to respond. All right. And the way you get points is to fully respond to me and then reply to a couple of your peers. I'll get into the connect situation here in a second, but you do have tests. There are three of them, multiple choice, that all that cover the content from the textbook. You also have videos which do the same thing, but only relate to these many, many short videos, four, five, six minutes, and then you have to answer some questions based on the video. And by the way, I give you two temps at each one of these things. And like I said, you have a couple things at the end of the semester, a film activity, smartest guys in the room, and a what if activity. Okay. And there's some stuff, general information about student code of contact and so on. Now, I will bring this up and hopefully it's not gonna happen with the assignments, but uh, there's <clears throat> a lot of use or misuse of the uh, chat GDP like uh, software. Uh, in this particular case, their particular course, you won't have to worry too much about it, but you should answer the questions using your own thoughts and words. And if you do happen to go outside to get information, you need to give me some sort of reference point. But like I said, the assignments that I'm giving you really do not take that into account because they're very specific uh, in terms of what I want that you don't need to necessarily go outside. Okay. So enough about that. If you're in any of my other classes, uh, I have some very strict guidelines on that. Okay. Uh, like I said, we're going to navigate through Blackboard and the, uh, assignment set folder. But in each assignment set folder, you're going to see something like this. There's six assignment sets, and each one of these has things to do. For example, in your assignment set one, you have a discussion board and you have a video. Now, it's important that you understand that everything that I have in the assignment set folder is due when indicated except for the video cases. And I'm going to scroll down here and I have a big announcement that indicates that the connect videos can be done anytime but are due at the end of the day on Thursday, May 9th, 2024. However, the connect tests, and there's three of them, must be done by the respective assignment set due date. So if I scroll back up here, you'll see for assignment set one, you have a discussion board that needs to be done in this time frame. The video can, should be done. And I put these videos out here just to give you a workload balance because you don't want to necessarily wait to the last day and do a bunch of videos. You have other things to do in your life, right? If you go to assignment set two, you have another discussion board. You have another Connect video, which is not due at, until the end of the semester, but I strongly recommend you do it. And I'm going to remind you every week. 
And then finally, you have the test one. This has to be done within the time frame. I have it January 29th to February 19th. Okay? And everything else follows the same way. All righty. Okay, well, now we're going to go back into Blackboard and see, tell you how to navigate uh, through some of these things. So I'm going to close this out. And as you can see, you have, and most of you have done Blackboard before, you have all kind of different folders over here. One has your syllabus. Click on that real quickly. One has announcements, which we just did. Uh, other ones have publisher resources, which I put uh, course materials. And there's links here and such. I'm going to go back here. You also have... Oops, I got out. Hold on a second. <laughs> there you go. You have instructor information. You want to find out more about me. There's my CV resume. Uh, what I just saw, showed you is assignment set calendar. It's the same thing that I just showed you at the end of the syllabus. It's basically identical. And then, of course, you have your assignment sets. <clears throat> so let's take an example of one. Let's just go into the first one. Assignment set one, due Monday, January 29th. All you do is click on that. And what you have are several things to do. Now, in this particular case, you do have something that you have to complete. And that's this self-assessment, ethics, corporate responsibility. This comes from uh, the Connect McGraw-Hill Learning Management System. And this needs to be complete. And then you're going to do the discussion board. So let's go to the discussion board first. You can access the discussion boards a couple different ways. You can come over here and click on the discussion board. All this stuff comes up. This is one way to do it. Uh, I suggest you just go through the assignment sets and you can click on it there too. So we're going to click on it. And like I said, it's not ready to go yet, but this is what it would look like. You have an explanation. Let me go backwards real quickly. So you have a thread that you'll click on, and then you'll have instructions on what to do. For this discussion board one, please do the following. Read chapter three of the textbook, especially corporate social responsibility. Complete the connect assignment corporate responsibility assignments at one folder, just showed you that. Watch the Simpsons excerpt included here. And it talks about this mother of it. Now, this is what you need to do. Besides all these things, you get into how much responsibility the companies have. Talk about your assessment feedback. You don't have to share it. How could the CEO make his company into more responsibility? What role term from the text and March play in the excerpt and whether the risk is false? So have some fun. Watch a little Simpsons and then answer some questions. And then make sure that you reply to two of your peers' comments to get full points. And as I said in the syllabus, it's not just a you go girl or a good job. It's a matter of giving a couple of three sentences that explain why you agree or disagree with your peers' comment, okay? And you do that, you answer mine, and you'll get the full points, all right? All right, so that's what a discussion board is. Now, let me go back here. If you want to learn more about the discussion board, this thing comes up. 
it just gives you an idea of what the discussion boards are just essentially the same information that you re saw in the syllabus okay let's go back to our assignment set <clears throat> and now you'll see that the other items is the self-assessment and the connect video once again videos aren't due until the end of the semester i would suggest you get them done during the time frame of the assignment set but they are both through the learning management system of the, the, the publisher provides so after you register now let's go back to the start here and then you need to register here now, like I said, when it, the course isn't open, so it's not going to allow you to register, but you're going to click on it, and it gives you information on how to do it. All right. Go through tools, go to the connect section, and then click on the thing. Now, it's not going to work here, but if you do go into the tools down here, and then you click on the McGraw Hill. Now, I have this set up so that you will see the connect here which allows you to register now like i said you're not going to be able to do it until the course opens but you'll follow the instructions on how to get into the class all right, and they're pretty simple instructions. In addition, you have the instructions in the syllabus as well as, let me get back to my screen here. I'm gonna get out of uh, the exit. In the start here, or like I said, connect registration and access and so on. All right. But once you do that, then let's go back into our assignment set. The easiest way to get into the connect assignments is simply through the assignment set folders. I can't make it any easier. You can go through course tools and go into your thing that way. But if you just want to get into the, the, <clears throat> the actual assignments, just go through the discussion board. I'm clicking on the video here. And again, this is see, it's not quite ready yet, but you're going to get into the, the video. You'll be able to do this, answer the questions and so on. Same thing for the tests. But it's the easiest way to get into the uh, uh, connect for the particular assignment. Another example, assignment set two. Again, you have a discussion board. You have the test, which has to be done February 23rd. And you also have uh, another connect video. Okay. All right. So the course is pretty straightforward. You have some discussion boards, you have videos, you have tests. And at the, like they said, the end of the course, you have a couple other things to do. You have a film to watch, which is great. Blackboard provides a really neat tool to allow you to watch the film without downloading anything. Comes right up. And then you have questions here that you have to answer. So you would click on that document. And you have a place to put it, the depository. And you also have something called a what if exercise. Same kind of thing. 
Uh, I've also provided you with a little extra credit in case you want to do more videos. And that always helps. Gain a few extra points. Okay? All righty. Let's go back to the announcements. Now, like I said, it's very, very important to keep up the speed on this course because I'm not going to babysit you. I do provide you an announcement every week just to let you know what's going on and to see if you have any questions. If you do have specific questions, the best way to reach me is the email. Now, with email, and this is it, I'm back to the syllabus now, <clears throat> and you can send it right through um, Blackboard. I usually get back within, always within 24 hours, but sometimes within a few minutes, depends if I'm on the computer. You can try calling my campus phone, but I strongly recommend against it. One, I'm having troubles with it, and I can't seem to get it fixed. And two, I'm not in the campus. I'm only there a couple times a week. So send me an email, thomas underscore passero at owens.edu, and I will get back to you. And hopefully address your concerns via email. If there is that rare chance that you need to set up some sort of time, you could, one, either come in during my office hours, Monday and Wednesday, 9 to 11, or set up an appointment where if this doesn't work for you, I'll, I'll make it work uh, for your schedule. Or we can go through Blackboard and go into the web meetings and set up a collaborative meeting where we can be face-to-face -face but over the computer and talk and get everything worked out. And I can show you examples and you don't have to come to an office. I don't have to be in the office and they can work for the both of us. Uh, I probably end up having to do this probably once or twice a year, but don't let that deter you from getting the help you need. Uh, you are the student, but are also a customer and we have to take care of you. I want to make sure you achieve your course objectives in any way possible. So I'll give you my 110%. Uh, and I would expect you to uh, give the same kind of effort. So, again, questions, comments, send me an email, uh, and then uh, we'll go from there. I hope you have a great semester, and I hope you get a lot out of this course. Take care.